Perhaps you're showing this to your friend who plays nothing but PUBG and want to get him to play Roblox, or you're watching this because you want to escape a flood in real life and you clicked on this video thinking it would help or tap. Anyways, here's Roblox Flood Escape. Everything you need to know. The goal of this game is simple. Entering an elevator that will lower you into a room and work together to escape the flood. You need to work together to press different blue buttons to make platforms appear so you can get to the green floor, which opens a door to the next room. Once everyone gets through or dies, the door closes and another door opens leading you to another room. Do this three times and you get to the final big... BIG DOOR where you must randomly crack a code and open it and escape. Once you escape, another win is added to your win bar. Also, you die the instant the water touches you. What kind of stuff is this made of? The more wins you get, the more items you unlock. I'll get to that later. The more buttons you push, the more blood coins you get after the round. Using those points, you can unlock items, which you can use to help you and your fellow Robloxians escape the flood. First item is a classic weak gravity coil, used for getting buttons easier and skipping obstacles. Blood shards is used for finding buttons. Dash is used for going fast for a temporary amount of time. Flood Sword is just for show when you're escaping floods, but is used as a weapon in Flood Gauntlet PvP mode. You can also buy items at a shop like Particles Music to play while you're escaping, merchandise, and taunts that sound like this. Ah, fresh meat. Each elevator will bring you to a different difficulty mode such as easy, medium, and hard. Instead of a tutorial, there's training mode where you can test your agility, reaction, and code cracking. To earn training points, every 15 training points gives you one flood coin, which is pretty useful. If you have a flood sword, which you don't, <laughs> you can enter the flood gauntlet to fight other players, but don't go there because there's nobody there. I wish there were people there, but I guess not, so don't go there. You will be disappointed. If only there were people there to fight me. Too bad there isn't. Anyway, stop going there, there's nobody there. There's also Extreme Mode, which is a mod that's actually a test for Flood Escape 2. Anyway, that's it. Bye. Have fun escaping the flood.